Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to introduce you to a view model class, show you some practical examples and uh, how to use it with your activities and fragments. And in the future tutorials I'm going to show you how to uh, combine view model with uh, live data, live cycle, room and more. So a uh, view model uh, class is a part of Android architecture components. And uh, if you don't know what uh, Android architecture components are, well basically those are a collection of libraries uh, that help developers design clean, robust and maintainable applications among other stuff. Uh, Android architecture components contain uh, classes for uh, managing your UI component lifecycle and uh, handling data persistence. And the view model is a part of those uh, architecture components. Uh, the view model class is designed to store and uh, manage UI related data in a lifecycle conscious way. The view model class allows uh, data to survive configuration changes such as uh, screen rotation. So uh, when we are talking about uh, activity or a fragment, we are actually referring to UI controllers. And the uh, ViewModel class should be created for each UI controller in order to separate things like uh, data and uh, different calculations from a UI controller. In a UI controller, there uh, should only be necessary code for managing our UI and uh, everything else could be placed inside the ViewModel class. So uh, enough theory, uh, let's see some uh, practical examples. Okay, so uh, this is our project. So we have just one activity and uh, its layout file and as you can see this layout file contains uh, one button and one text view. So uh, when we press this uh, button we want to increase the number and uh, set that number to our text view. So let's get back to our main activity class and here uh, we're going to create uh, one uh, number variable and it will have the default value of zero. So next I'm going to use the reference of our button and I'm going to set the on click listener. So whenever we click our button we want to increase this uh, variable by one. So number plus plus, and we want to set the text view text to our uh, number variable. Okay, so let's convert that to string. And uh, that's basically it. So as simple as uh, it can be. So uh, now when we run this uh, on our uh, smartphone, as you can see, when we press add, as you can see, uh, the text view is changing. But when we rotate our device, this value is gone. And we need to again add those values but when we rotate again as you can see we need to start over so that's a bad ui experience so uh, in order to fix that we need to create a view model class and now let's create a kotlin class and let's name this uh, main activity uh, view model okay so this class will extend the view model okay and uh, now Inside this class, we want to create a variable of uh, integer type again with the name uh, number. It will have the default value to zero, the same, and we are going to add a function named add number. So this function will basically increase our number variable by one. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do, uh, we need to connect our main activity with this view model class. So let's get back to our main activity and here inside our uh, onCreate method, uh, we're going to add that, but we're going to remove uh, all other variables inside our main activity. And uh, here uh, we're going to create a view model object and we're going to use a view model provider. Okay, and uh, here we need to pass uh, basically the owner of this class. So just pass the context, this is the view model store owner and we need to use the method get and we need to pass our view model class. So main activity view model class dot Java. And now uh, we're going to use this uh, view model object to uh, actually get the reference of our uh, variable and our method inside our view model. So inside our button on click listener we want to reference our view model and uh, we want to call a method add number. So uh, whenever we press our button, uh, we we're going to increase our variable number by one every time from our view model class. And we want to set the text, of course. And we're going to reference our number variable from our view model now. So all our codes for uh, increasing that uh, number are now in a view model. And uh, in our main activity class, we just have uh, our UI implementation for a uh, button on click listener or for uh, changing the text. So now let's... Uh, add those uh, numbers, let's rotate our screen and as you can see we can see zero but when we press add uh, it will continue to increase from number three, from number three and now it will continue to increase from number four. So uh, everything works fine, uh, we just need to set the, the text inside our onCreate uh, method. So uh, now let's uh, head over to our main activity and let's uh, fix that. So here 
uh, above our button on click listener we need to uh, copy and paste this uh, set text method okay and now uh, we're going to run our application again and you will see that uh, everything will work fine so uh, before we run uh, our application uh, let me show you a view model scope so as you can see uh, when we rotate our device uh, there are six different uh, methods uh, or activity lifecycle callbacks which are triggered and uh, those are on pause on stop on destroy on create on start and on resume and uh, our view model scope uh, contains all those uh, callbacks so basically when we connected our main activity with our uh, view model our view model class uh, received all those uh, activity callbacks from our main activity so that's how uh, our view model class is uh, able in the background to save uh, our uh, integer uh, value and the view model uh, does that uh, all by itself automatically behind the scenes okay so let's open uh, the application and let's increase the number so when we rotate our device as you can see the value stays the same and when we rotate again it uh, never loses its value. So that's how uh, our view model is able to save our data in uh, all activity lifecycle callbacks. So there is one more thing which I haven't showed you and uh, you can uh, override one method called uh, onCleared. So uh, the onCleared method is called uh, when the application is uh, put into the background and before your application process is killed by the Android OS in order to free up some uh, system memory. So uh, one important thing to remember, uh, view models should not hold a reference to activities, fragments or contexts. Uh, view models should not contain elements that contain references uh, to UI controllers such as uh, views. Uh, there is one exception to this rule, uh, sometimes you might need an application context as opposite to activity context for use with uh, things like uh, system services. And uh, storing uh, application context in a view model is okay because uh, application context is tied to application lifecycle and uh, this is different from activity context uh, which is tied to activity lifecycle. And if you need application context uh, you should extend the Android view model class instead which is simply a view model that includes application reference. Uh, so uh, to summarize, uh, the view model class is uh, designed to hold and manage UI related data in a lifecycle conscious way. So this allows data to survive configuration changes such as screen rotations. And uh, that means that uh, your uh, view model will be aware of your UI controller's lifecycle. Uh, view model is also used to separate uh, application data and uh, different calculations from uh, UI implementation. Uh, the view model provider class is uh, used to connect a UI controller with a view model by passing a context as an argument and uh, you should never store a UI controller or context directly or indirectly in a view model this includes uh, storing a view in a view model uh, direct or uh, indirect references uh, to UI controllers uh, defeat the purpose of separating the UI from the data and uh, can lead to memory leaks and uh, one more thing uh, which I haven't mentioned uh, the view model is not used for data persistence by itself it's often used uh, in combination with uh, on saved instance state and uh, local database. And uh, in the next video, we're going to explore uh, view model uh, class furthermore. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like this video if you found it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.